Hi, welcome to Adventures and Things. I'm Michael Wright, and today on Gulf Island Adventures, I'm at Gabagoo Island. Gabriola Island. Let's go check this place out. If you're new to this channel or a returning subscriber, this is a new series I am calling Super Happy Island Time. It's a series where I try to get to every southern Gulf Island I'm allowed to go to. I want to take you on an epic journey through this beautiful archipelago made up of hundreds of islands. Some islands will be no problem to get onto and others I'll have to get permission to go to. Either way, this is going to be an awesome journey and I hope you join me. I'm in the lineup of cars right now waiting for the ferry. I don't know when the next ferry is going to come, but uh, this is going to be a fun trip. We're going to get on the ferry hopefully soon and uh, I'm gonna have myself a little Nanaimo bar when you come to Nanaimo you get a Nanaimo bar just makes sense right 57.6 square kilometers of beautiful rainforest sandy pebbly bedrocky and sandstony beaches awaits you after a 20-minute ferry ride from Vancouver Island second biggest city Nanaimo I've been here for about five minutes and realized that I forgot some groceries at home. So I've come to Nestor's Market and see if I can't find what I need here. I thought I was gonna be paying an arm and a leg for stuff here. This is actually cheaper on this island than it is in Victoria. This is crazy. Just figured I'd get the essentials. Well, I'm in the area. I think I'm gonna take a look for a coffee shop. So Mad Rona's sounded promising. Uh, they're closed. It's it's part of the island, I guess. Um, they, they close at like four or something or 3.30. So whatever, I mean, you gotta expect that when you come to one of these Gulf Islands, things just close down early. There's not a lot of business being had late at night. So fair enough. I found one more spot that I might go check out and see if they have a coffee. And if not, I guess it's back to the campsite and drink my crappy stuff. So I came to Robert's place and the food here was absolutely incredible. Robert seems like a really uh, genuine, nice guy. Uh, if you're ever in Gabriola, come here and eat. Help support the local businesses. Okay, so we're down here at uh, Descano Regional Park. This is actually where I'm staying. My campsite's just up there. And uh, it's a pretty cool area. You kind of get up to this point and you got like a little bay on this side here and a little bay on that side there. I love how the sandstone gets all eroded and cut out like that. It's absolutely amazing how it curls over like when the tides come in, it just washes this away. Uh, it's pretty amazing, actually. 
as the tides get higher and higher over the years, more and more of this will be eroding and you know that's that's not quite as amazing but uh, there's supposed to be some other really cool sandstone erosions like this so uh, let's go check those out right meow. What a terrible transition! Anyways this is Malaspina Gallery. This is the sandstone that I was telling you about. It is absolutely amazing how this is all cut out. It's like you're riding a wave. You're going in through this wave. You're just sitting here overlooking Nanaimo and whatever that is. And uh, it, it's phenomenal. I, I, I can't say enough amazing things about this place. And this is what makes Gabriola so cool. In 1791, the schooner Santa Santorina, led by Jose Maria Narvaez, landed in what is now known as Drumbag Provincial Park in the southeast end of Gabriola, originally called Punta de Gaviola, which would later be corrupted into Gabriola and applied to the entire island nice sandstone beaches uh, some kind of rock beaches over yonder but one thing I have noticed um, and I'm hoping that I can catch it on camera is there's some seals uh, just ripping around out here probably looking for food I think this would be a really good spot to come kayak around I just got to be careful with like currents and stuff like that because I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to the ocean and the ocean is a terrifying place. It really is. You have to respect it because the ocean doesn't want to be your friend. It doesn't give a crap about you or your family. Well, this is Sandwell Beach, and I am assuming that it's named after someone with the last name Sandwell, like a Sandy Sandwell or something, because there is not any sand here at all. This is a, a fully pebble beach. That is what it is, which it does. That doesn't take away the beauty of it. it is stunningly beautiful here. Um, there's a comorant out there that keeps distracting me, but it is stunningly gorgeous here. And um, there's like the ocean kind of beach here and then over there there's like a bog which is kind of gross looking and it, it looks like it would probably be full of mosquitoes so I'm not going to stay here too long but this is uh, Sandwell Provincial Park stunningly gorgeous it is really beautiful like everywhere on this island honestly it's it's amazing so I walked up and down here there's no sand but uh, but come check it out though Seriously, it's, uh, it's worth it. The views over to the mainland are, are worth it alone. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this. I wish I remembered the call of the comorant. Comorant! 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 Well, hopefully one comes close. It might be the mating call. Comorant! Comorant! So this is Gabriola Sands Beach. It's uh, pretty nice. I think it's actually called Twin Beach. There's a beach over on the other side. There's like a road separating them. And um, I'd like to give you a nice drone shot, but you can't fly your drone here. But uh, let's go check out the other beach. side of the beach. The only thing that separates these two beaches are this little chunk of grassland in between. Um, it goes out to this big bulbous point, this mushroom head of a point. It's uh, it's actually pretty cool. You can drive right down the road and 
pick whatever side of the beach you want to go on then. This one seems a little bit windier than the others, but uh, let's go check some more stuff out. surprisingly easy actually I got over here in a hurry and uh, yeah it was really nothing to worry about so if I wait a few hours until the high tide goes back then I can just go straight across again but uh, let's go let's go explore around this island a little bit hopefully not get beat up or yelled at or something I'm scared <laughs> 